Now for some exciting news from the royal family. Prince Harry could be heading down under this year. The Australian government and Clarence House are reportedly making plans for the prince's arrival in October. This will be his first visit since 2003. So let's find out more with our royal commentator, Rob Jobson. Rob, good morning to you. Look, we've talked about this a few times and every time you've said, no, just rumours, it's not happening. So uh, is it different this time? Yeah, Ismail, I spoke to somebody um, last week who's close to Prince Harry at Clarence House and they did confirm to me that um, although the details are not exactly ironed out yet, yeah, they are in discussions with the Australian government about Prince Harry coming down in the autumn. They haven't worked out exactly what he's going to be doing, but some territories um, are being discussed. But it isn't fixed and finalised yet, but it's certainly in discussions. Woo! Fantastic, because last time he spent a lot of his time in Queensland working on a sheep station, so you don't know whether it'll be sort of working do I assume it won't be a holiday? No, it won't be a holiday, although he does like to spend a little bit of time privately when he goes on these trips. Um, it's just being organised at the moment, Mel. The fact is they're saying that it's going to be a couple of territories, maybe the Northern Territories as well. Um, but I'm sure he'll try and get down to see as much as he can. It's all being discussed at the moment and they have confirmed that it is being talked about, but they've still got to iron right. out the details. Look, I'll tell you what, we might work on a little itinerary for him, if you like, here at Sunrise, and we'll send it on to you to pass <laughs> on. And it'll certainly, we're all about making life easier. Hey, um, tell us about the polo game too. Harry and William. Yeah, it was quite fun actually. William and Harry were playing polo against each other at the Beaufort um, Polo. No Kate this time. She was at her parents' house apparently. And um, according to the photographers, but you can't always be trusted, there was a bit of flirting going on in the tents, all the girls swamping around to see if they could get close to both William and Harry, and they seem to be having fun. So, it's the, as always, they're doing these things for charity, but it is the mm. sport of kings for them, Who and they won? do really enjoy it. Who won? Um, I didn't get the full result, actually, oh. but the fact is they were, they were fighting against each other. I think it was Williams' team that won in the end. Okay, there you go. Thanks so much, Rob. Good to talk to you.